Chapter 4 Climate Let's discuss the factors affecting climate of Brazil. Number 1 Brazil experiences wide range of climatic variations because of vast latitudinal extent. Number 2 Most of the part of Brazil lies in the tropical zone. Number 3 As the equator passes through the northern part of Brazil, the temperature here is very hot. Number 4 the climate in the highland is cooler than in the Amazon Valley. Amazon Valley receives around 2000 mm of rainfall. Number 5. Because of the proximity to the ocean, the coast experience mild and humid climate. Number 6. Brazil receives orographic type of rainfall from the southeast and northeast trade winds. Number 7. The Great Escarpment acts as a barrier to the southeast trade winds giving rise to the rain shadow area in the northeastern part of the highlands. Number 8. Thus, the northeastern part of Brazilian highlands lies on the leeward sides of the highlands. Hence, the northeastern part of the Brazilian highlands receives very less rainfall and this region is also known as the drought quadrilateral. Number 9. Considering the temperature in Brazil, the northern part of Brazil is hot while the temperatures in the southern part are comparatively lower. Tropical cyclones rarely visit the coasts of Brazil. Why? Number 1. The belt between 0 degrees to 5 degrees north and south near the equator is the convergence zone of northeast trade winds and the southeast trade winds. Number 2. Here, the winds are extremely calm and move in vertical direction. Number 3. Therefore, cyclones are not formed in this region and this is why tropical cyclones rarely visit the coasts of Brazil. Manaus, an important port of Brazil, does not have much difference in the temperature. Why is it so? Number 1. Manaus is centrally located in the heart of Brazilian state of Amazonas. Number 2. Because of its proximity to the equator, the seasons are difficult to distinguish temperature-wise. Number 3. Manaus is located close to the Amazon River Basin and the Amazon Rainforest. It has primarily wet tropical climate and receives a lot of rain throughout the year. Hence, there is a little difference in the range of temperature in Manaus. Number 4. There are two seasons in Manaus. A. The dry season. The dry season usually rains from June to October. B. The wet season. The wet season usually rains from December to May. Number 5. The warmest month are September and October with an average temperature of 33 degrees Celsius and the coldest month is February with the average temperature dipping to 30 degrees Celsius. The temperature really doesn't vary much all throughout the year. The Tropic of Cancer passes through the central part of the country. Therefore, India's climate is tropical monsoon type. Number 2. The average temperatures are high throughout the year. Number 3. The temperature increases towards the south of India. Number 4. Winds blowing from the Indian Ocean, southwest winds and the retreating winds from the Himalayas, northeast winds are responsible for the rainfall in India. Therefore, India receives precipitation from the northeast monsoon winds too. Let's look at the climatic variations in India from south towards north. Number 1. As we move from South India to North India, we find a variety of climatic changes. Number 2. Generally, temperatures are high in the southern part of India. Number 3. The southwest monsoon wind brings rainfall towards mainland of India. Number 4. Because of the obstruction caused by the eastern and western ghats, it rains more in the coastal areas. Number 5. The rainfall reduces on the leeward side of the hills. Number 6. These winds blow parallel to the Aravalis. As a result, rainfall is low in parts of Gujarat and Rajasthan. Number 7. Later, these winds move towards the Himalayas. Number 8. Their moisture carrying capacity increases. Number 9. Orographic type of rainfall occurs because of the natural obstruction of the Himalayas. Number 10. These winds return from the Himalayan range and their retreating journey starts. The temperature decreases 
as we move upwards from south to north. In winters, the temperature drops to minus 40 degrees in Jammu and Kashmir and parts of mountainous regions of Himalayas. The diversity in climatic conditions of India are due to the latitudinal location and altitude of the place. The Indian Ocean and the Himalayan ranges exert a great influence on the climate of India and the origin of monsoons. Why do you think convectional type of rainfall is not prominent in India? Number 1. Convectional rainfall is common in the equatorial areas. Number 2. India is a tropical country, but equator does not pass through India. Number 3. Because of India's physiographic features, the moisture-laden winds get naturally obstructed by mountains like Himalayas, Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats and causes orographic rainfall. Thus, orographic type of rainfall is more prominent in India. Let's compare the climates of Brazil and India. Number 1. Both India and Brazil have vast latitudinal extent and therefore both of them experience a wide range of climatic variations. Number 2. Tropic of Cancer passes through India and Tropic of Capricorn and Equator pass through Brazil. Therefore, both countries have tropical monsoon type of climate. Number 3. Due to the natural obstruction of the Himalayas, Western Ghats and Eastern Ghats in India and the Great Escarpment and the Brazilian highlands in Brazil, orographic type of rainfall is prevalent in both countries. Number 4. As we go from north to south in India, the temperature increases and in Brazil, as we go from south to north, the temperature increases. Therefore, climates of Brazil and India are similar in most ways.